Okay, this next problem is going to be problem number five from independent practice. <laughs> that glare is still there. Okay, so anyways, um, you see this problem in your book, and these are all labeled with uh, centimeters. So when you're doing your work, you're always going to want to make sure to do that, okay? So what I'm showing you with this problem is you want to visualize you're combining the volume of two rectangles. So if you look, you're going to see how I broke these into two. Let me get rid of that glare. OK, that's better. OK, so you'll see the top and the bottom. We're going to go ahead and call the top A. I will call the bottom one B, the bottom rectangle. OK? So. Like I said in the previous one, you want to make sure you don't double count. So you can see how when that's combined into one, it has a height of 10. You're gonna, you're not gonna, with the way I divide this, divided this up, you're not gonna be using that 10. Okay. So first we find the length times the width times the height. So I'll write that up here so you remember. Length times width times height. Okay. So first we find the length. If we look on here, we're going to see that this is 6, which would be the same as that. If I drew an imaginary line right here, that would be a 6, too. Oops. You, you have to do some thinking with these problems, but that's good. Okay, so we have the length. Now we're going to find the width. Now the width is going to be right here. That's not given, but this line, this line, and this line, and this line, and this line, they're all the same. So it's going to be four, four centimeters. Then I have a height of it. I don't know the height here, but I could look here. The height of this is going to be three. So I know that A is going to be six times four times three. Now, I used all that. I found that rectangle. So I'm going to call the bottom part B, the bottom Christmas present, I think of it. So first I find the length, how long it is. It's 8. Now the width is a little different right here, but the width is going to be 4. Now you're going to look at this. You're going to be like, oh, it's 10. I see 10 there, but 10 is both of them. You don't want to do both of them. So you'll look. You'll be like, hey, just the bottom Christmas present, Christmas present B is 7. So I'll put a 7 right there. So it's going to be 8 times 7 times 4. OK? Now, on the back, I did some of the work. did this ahead of time. So I had A. A was my small Christmas present. And I did 4 times 6 times 3. 24 times 3 is 72. That's going to be the volume. I have limited space on the whiteboard. That's why I didn't write centimeters and centimeters cubed everywhere. And then B, which was my large Christmas present, it was 8 times 7 times 4. So on the back, I have 8 times 7 times 4. And over here, I did, I know 8 times 7 is 56. Then on the side, I have to do the work. I did 56 times 4 is 224, which is 224 centimeters cubed, cubic centimeters. Now, once you find both of those, you're finding the combined volume. So you add them up. So you'd have 224 plus 72 is going to equal a total of 296 cubic centimeters, which is going to be your answer for number five. So as you're working through these problems, you're going to divide them up. Make sure not to double count some of the heights. Think of it as two separate boxes, like I showed you here. And you should have a lot of success with the lesson. All right, good luck. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it helps you.